Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sapna Chilate from Department of Chemistry. Today we are going to study about gas chromatography technique. As we all know, this is very important technique in analytical chemistry and by using, the, by using this technique, we can uh, separate out different components from a complex mixture. Also, we can study the percent purity of different samples by using gas chromatographic technique. This technique is very important and versatile technique in uh, analytical chemistry as it depends upon the volatile nature of different substances. So, in today's topic, we'll study about the introduction of gas chromatography, then principle, instrumentation, working and application. As we all know, gas chromatography is very important technique and here we can separate out different analyte depending upon their volatile nature in gas phase. Here we want the substance in a gas phase. For this purpose, we have to vaporize the sample. So one by one, we'll study the gas chromatographic technique. Depending upon the stationary phase, which we are using during this technique, it can be classified into gas uh, liquid chromatography and gas solid chromatography. Of course, uh, in gas liquid chromatography, the mobile phase is gas and the uh, stationary phase which we, are, which we are using is a liquid which is mounted on a stationary phase. And in gas uh, solid chromatography, the uh, stationary phase will be totally solid uh, substances which we are using. The basic diagram is uh, here I have shown in the PPT which consists of carrier gas. The carrier gas which we are using in uh, gas chromatography is most probably the inert gas like helium and nitrogen. The gas flow injector is there. Thereafter sample injector which uh, through which we can inject the sample in vaporized form. Then the entire system is placed in an oven. As we all know this technique is a temperature, uh, we call it, it as a temperature program system. Okay, So here we can estimate different substances depending upon their adsorption and desorption rate. The column which we are using here uh, should be a coil structure uh, because we are heating the column and depending upon their adsorption and desorption rate, the different components will be separate out. The system is placed in or the column is placed in an oven so that we can heat it uh, from a temperature from 0, uh, 20 degree Celsius up to 2000 degree Celsius. Thereafter, detector and the waste can be collected through the waste collector and then a uh, recorder system. Here we can use a computer and a data system for data analysis. The basic principle uh, of the gas chromatography is partition chromatography. We, as we uh, uh, call it, it as a partition chromatography, the dif different components get partitioned on the stationary phase and here we can uh, separate out different components uh, based on their temperature. So we have to initially convert the sample into vapor phase and then it can transfer through the, uh, uh, through the gases mobile phase. The mobile phase which we are using here different gases like helium and nitrogen. The components which are more soluble will be adhered to the stationary phase and travel sl uh, slower while the components uh, and uh, it will be elute out later and the components which are less soluble in the stationary phase will travel faster and elute out first and in this way we can separate out different uh, substances in a same, uh, same mixture. No two components should have the partition coefficient uh, in between similar condition okay that means uh, the temperature should be differ they should have different uh, separation temperature the different components can be separate out based on their partition coefficient now what is exactly mean by the partition coefficient it is the ratio of solubility of the substances which will be distributed between the immiscible liquid at constant temperature uh, let's study about the instrumentation. So initially the injector is there through which we can uh, uh, put the sample into the system. Thereafter the uh, column is there where the actual separation takes place. The column should be narrow, long and uh, the tube should be coated with the stationary phase. Thereafter it is placed in the oven which controls the temperature. Here we are using the temperature uh, programming system for uh, enhanced separation. The carrier gas should be inert as I have discussed earlier. So the common gases uh, which we can use as a carrier gas in gas chromatography are helium and nitrogen. Thereafter detector is there. 
uh, where the monitor are uh, separate different components. Here we get the different peaks of different components and uh, uh, we can uh, study the different components. The common detector which we can use in uh, gas chromatography are flame ionization detector, then thermal conductivity detector and mass spectrometer. Depending upon the substances which we have to separate out, we can use different types of detector. Then the data system is there which collects and process the, uh, the signal. The signal is amplified and it is recorded in a form of a chromatogram and data will be analyzed. Then the column oven which ensures the temperature stability throughout the analysis. Here we are using temperature programming as we are uh, increasing the temperature and of course we are decreasing the temperature as uh, we have to determine the substances depending upon their adsorption and desorption rate. Then the gas supply system is there which supplies carrier gas uh, and uh, also uh, it is used throughout the operation. Then pressure regulator is there which maintains a constant pressure flow throughout the system. Sample in introduction system includes auto sampler or uh, manually also we can uh, uh, put the sample. Here the sample should be vaporized and then pass through the column. Then column inlet is there uh, which connects the column injector. Then column outlet uh, will be uh, end to the detector. These are the different components which can separate and analyze the components. Uh, of a sample based on their interaction with the stationary phase in the column. Now the working of GC. Gas chromatography uh, has different components like sample injection system from where we can inject the sample and the uh, when we inject the sample it forms a mist and then dissolve with the volatile solvent. Then mobile phase the carrier gas like helium and nitrogen uh, which will carry our vaporized sample throughout the column. The column, of course, uh, already we have studied the column is long, coiled and typically coated with stationary phase, which will interact the sample and the different components will be separate out on the stationary phase. Then separation of vaporized sample uh, through the column depends upon the interaction of the sample with the stationary phase. The compound have different aff affinities for the stationary phase and it will run through the column uh, through different rates leading to the separation. Effective separation will be occurred in the separation techniques. Then the detection, the separated com uh, components will be detected by the detector. Uh, here we can use different detectors depending upon the sample which we have to determine like FID detector, then mass spectrometers and thermal uh, uh, TCD detectors we can use. The uh, detector records the signal and then uh, we can uh, determine the different components. Then data analysis system which will amplify the signals and then analyzed and here the chromatogram is generated. The chromatogram shows the peak of different components and uh, which can be separated out throughout the system. The peaks of chromatogram will correspond to the different compounds and the concentration of that compound if we are determining it uh, by qualitative method. Okay. So different areas and heights represent the uh, different relative concentration of different substances. So the sample injector. Now the applications of uh, gas chromatography. The gas chromatography has a wide application. It can be used in different laboratories for qualitative as well as quantitative analysis of complex mixture. And it also helps us to identify and quantify the different components. If we see the environmental monitoring, it can be used uh, for uh, detection of different substances from uh, air, water and soil samples. Then it can be used in food and beverage uh, industry where we can determine the flavors, fragrance, contaminants of different substances. It is also used in pharmaceutical industry for uh, drug formulations and identify the compounds. Forensic science, it is has a great uh, importance in forensic industry in, uh, in order to determine the toxicology and uh, poisons present in different samples. Thank you.